Well, <clears throat> we had high hopes when this year started. Obviously, uh, 2020 is our goal for all of our patients' vision, and we certainly had that goal when we went into this year. And, you know, the COVID-19 has definitely thrown us a curveball. So I, I think it's really important. Uh, we're ophthalmologists, and some of us have different subspecialties than others. But the bottom line is uh, inflammation after surgery is a problem. And something like DexiQ, which can be given as sort of a one-time administration, can help our patients undergoing surgery uh, at any stage. And it, re it removes the need for the patients to put in the drop. Maybe it removes the need for them to go out to a pharmacy. It removes the need for a family member or, or anybody else to go with them. It actually reduces their risk of of get, coming in contact with somebody who might make them ill. And so I, I think the take home message for uh, DexiQ is that it's, it's gonna help socially distance our patients a little bit more, as well as have a more effective mode of uh, anti-inflammatory activity. And then... <laughs> well, it, it wasn't what we thought it was gonna be in, in January or February. <laughs> sure. Um, you know, it, it's amazing because there were so many organizations, including the ASRS, you know, really had uh, some outstanding plans uh, for celebrating 2020, not only uh, as, a, as a society and, and as a field in, in retina and within ophthalmology, but also for our patients. Um, and and what, uh, what really, obviously, without them, we, we don't have a, have a field. Um, and that's changed a lot, you know, because we're not able to do those in-person meetings and some of those in-person celebrations. But you know, I think what, what I see in a lot of things is real resilience. You know, we look at uh, how the ASRS annual meeting has gone virtual for the very first time. And, I, you know, personally, I, I th thought it was an outstanding experience. You know, the way that we were able to have both incredible content that's archived online for people to review, but still have the lively discussions and, and the interactions and even having, you know, live questions coming in uh, from participants. So I think it shows resilience. You know, what we've seen that in our patients too, at least here in Ohio, you know, in March we had to shut down and in April we're, we're pretty much shut down. Uh, and we've started to build back up and build back in a way that we feel safe uh, for being able to provide, you know, the best care we can to our patients, but also providing a really outstanding place for our technicians, our photographers and, and our staff and teams and our, our physicians to work as, as well. So I think the outlook's good. I think the outlook is, is very different than what we anticipated. But right. I think that what it really shows is a lot of resilience within the field. Um, I think, you know, this has been overall a very good year for ophthalmology in terms of demonstrating the resilience that our specialty has in dealing with this, um, the, the pandemic, demonstrating the ability of our community to come together and play such an integral part of the entire health system. The ability of the um, our communities, for example, the retina community in particular, to continue to provide care to the patients with the sickest eyes, even during the pandemic, and be able to modify our processes to provide that care in a manner that is safe. Uh, we continue to see advances in pharmaceutical therapy, in surgical uh, treatments, gene therapy. So that is all very exciting. But I think with this additional component of being able to adapt to the changing environment.